beautiful people you could have been anywhere in the world but you are here with me and i definitely appreciate that to all the new people stopping by my channel hi you guys make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on that bell notification so you're notified each time i post a video and to all of my returning subscribers hey y'all so today's vlog as you can see i'm outside it's going to be a little bit different i'm going to show you guys how to make a diy tiered stand using Dollar Tree materials. So if you want to see how this turns out, then definitely keep on watching. Okay, you guys. So I got this charger right here from the Dollar Tree. All of these things can be found at the Dollar Tree. So I got this cute little silver charger. I also got this um, cake pan. I have this um, this pizza pan. And then I also got these um, stove covers right here that I will use. I have three candle holders. I got these from the Dollar Tree as well. I got this spray paint, this spray paint. I got this from um, from Lowe's. It was like $3.47, but this is the kind that I got. One, because it's good for metal, wood, plastic, and more. And I'll be spraying this with metal. I also have some glue sticks that I got from um, from the Dollar Tree, my hot glue gun, and then I have some black acrylic paint. And then of course you will need a paintbrush. So these are the items that I will be using today for, um, for my craft project. Um, and this will be for my DIY tiered stand. So I'm super excited to see, you know, how this will turn out. All right, y'all, so I am outside just giving these um, pans a quick spray. It was so windy outside, but it was also so hot. And so, um, yeah, I'm just giving these a quick spray and Leah wanted to participate in this DIY. And so I let her um, help spray paint with these as well. But just make sure that you spray paint outside. Try and make sure you don't have any cars by just in case it's some overspray. And always make sure you put something down so that way you are not messing up your driveway. While I'm waiting for my pants to dry, I am going to go ahead and give my candlesticks a quick spray paint as well. So that way I am killing two birds with one stone. And so I waited for about 30 minutes before I decided to flip these um, pans over and spray them. And so um, they are completely dry. So I'm just going ahead and spraying the opposite side only because if someone was to accidentally look up under the tear stand, I want to give the illusion that I actually bought it this way. And so I am just spraying the back just for cosmetic purposes. Oh, 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 oh,
my candlesticks here and I spray painted them. Y'all, it took me about three coats of spray paint to spray paint these. So I have one right there, one right here, and one right here. Then I also have my pizza pan. I spray painted that front and back. I just did a rough spray paint on the back. Um, here's my charger plate. I spray painted the front and spray painted the back. Like I said, just a rough um, spray paint. Um, this is my cake pan. And then these right here are my stovetop covers or my burner covers. You remember it had the rooster on there. Like you can barely see it. Um, so I spray painted both of those. Also, when I looked at the inspiration picture, it had these little wood pieces right here. I had my dad um, spray paint, I mean not spray paint these, I had my dad cut these um, with just some scrap wood that I'm doing for another project. So I just went ahead and spray painted the top and kind of the sides just a little bit. So that way I can use that for feet on this project. So I'm probably gonna give this like probably another hour to officially dry. And since it does feel the way that it does and it's just a um, easy to scratch, I may add some Mod Posh to this. I have some in the house. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and add that to prevent any of the spray paint from coming off because I had to put probably about two coats, two or three coats on these pieces, but for sure on the candlesticks through pieces, and I just don't want those to get um, scratched up. So I'm definitely gonna use some Mod Posh for that and for these pieces as well, and then just let those dry um, so we can bring them in the house. And so I did end up using Mod Podge on these pieces and I used just some glossy Mod Podge. You can get your Mod Podge from the Dollar Tree. It is actually a dollar in the craft section. my stuff has officially dried Leah and Carmen want to help me put this together and so I'm gonna go ahead I don't know which one I'm gonna do first so I'm gonna post will show y'all two different options so that way y'all can see or maybe yeah maybe two different options or three so that way you can see the different ways that you can do your own stand um so you kind of have an idea how this okay works. you guys here is option one so I'm just using the pizza pan candlestick large um, burner cover um, candlestick and then small burner cover so here is an example um, one of how you can do your tiered stand so yeah so this is how it is right here so this is option number two that you can do with this um, DIY tiered stand and this is option number three. So I have the pizza pan on the bottom, candlestick, large burner cover, candlestick, and then this at the top is the um, cake pan. So yeah, y'all, the possibilities are endless. I am still um, undecided on if I'm gonna go with option two or option three, but this is definitely something for you to consider with how you, um, how you do um your tiered stand so i'm gonna go ahead and decide how i'm gonna do this and in the meantime in between time i am going to go ahead and plug in my um plug in my hot okay, you guys ignore carmen over here and leah over here this is the tiered stand that i decided to do so i'm doing the pizza pan candlestick large burner candlestick and then the cake pan so these are the ones that i'm doing and i just realized i had another candlestick from another diy project and so i am going to spray paint that as well and i could also do this little stand right here to put like um on our bookshelf that we have in our den so i thought this would be cute especially for the holidays i could always spray paint this like a neutral color um and put that in there so that way we can you know put little knickknacks and things of that nature on there but yeah, y'all, this is what we're looking like. And I'm going to go ahead and hot glue this. All right. So now I'm going in with the hot glue gun. 
I am going to hot glue the area that holds the candle down and then the base of the candle I will hot glue that as well just because I want as the layers to go up I want them to be more sturdy versus the pizza pan at the bottom so I'm just hot gluing you know everything to make sure it's super good and Leah said she wanted to come help so she is coming to help me hot glue. So now that I'm done hot gluing my project, I am just going in with a little bit of my acrylic paint. This acrylic paint I found at um, Hobby Lobby for 50 cent. I'm pretty sure you can find it at the Dollar Tree, but it was definitely cheaper for me to get it at Hobby Lobby. And I'm also using like a five cent paint brush and I am just going to paint the rim around this tiered stand. These two colors will match perfectly in our newly renovated kitchen. So I added the black paint around the edges to kind of give it that little bit of a distressed look. And then I have the candlesticks, of course, hot glued. Um, Y'all see Carmen. <laughs> I have the candlesticks hot glued the opposite way. So the bigger piece at the top and then this one down at the bottom. That's what we are looking like. And then I'm going to flip this over in just a second and add my little Jenga pieces at the bottom. And so with my Jenga pieces, I am using four of them and I am just hot gluing them to my tiered stand. Um, and I'm doing it on the side that um, wasn't painted. So whatever side wasn't painted is what I'm pushing down. And I'm just putting these in like a square shape around the bottom part of my tiered stand. So I just wanted to come to you guys really quick with just some tips on some things that you can do um, if you mess up on this project. My hot glue gun was not really sticking, so I had to do some alternate methods. So you can use, I believe it's the E6500 or E6000. It's like a super, super glue. You can definitely use that. Um, instead of using your hot glue gun, I decided to use a hot glue gun just because that's something that I had on hand. Also, if you mess up with the paint, um, painting the rims, so for instance, your, um, 
I did mine with the black paint. You can just use just a paper towel and a little bit of water and you can wipe off that ex the excess. Um, I Mod Podge mine, which the stuff that I've seen, some Mod Podge, some didn't, but if you watched my um, front door wreath that I did with the pizza pan, then you already know that <laughs> it was an issue with the Mod Podge. So just make sure that you Mod Podge um, your project and you can wipe it off simple easy peasy it is also good for you to clean so if it's you know dust or anything like that you can just take a wet paper towel and just wipe it off but I think for let's just say this project was maybe less than $15 when it was all said and done because it's stuff I had at the house but even if you had to buy it it's definitely still under $15 but for it to be under $15 y'all this is definitely a simple project and very easy for you to do if you don't want to spend the money. I seen like on Etsy these tiered stands go anywhere between thirty to um, fifty dollars, and I'm doing it myself. Like I'm not trying to spend that much money, so I'm gonna go ahead and pan this camera over so you can see the final look for yourselves. Um, because this was definitely a good crafty project. Hey guys, so this is the finished product. As you can see, I went with option number two. So I did pizza pan, candlestick, um, large burner pan, candlestick, and then the um, cake pan. So that is what I went through right there. Those are the, you know, the steps that I took. And I just made sure that I hot glued this very, very good and very very good up under there and it turned out pretty good you guys this is just what it's looking like and you can fill this with all kinds of little knickknacks it's good to put on your islands or you know things of that nature this is going to go on my island um because i am redoing my kitchen so you guys will uh oh got some fingerprints on here so you guys will be able to see the final product of that coming up very, very soon. I guess I didn't get a lot of Mod Podge on there, but it's okay. I can just spot touch that up. So yeah, this, this is it y'all, this is it. Guys, so that is gonna be it for this vlog. I love the way my DIY tear stand turned out. And for the most part, all of these products were used from the Dollar Tree. If you've been working on DIY projects at home during these crazy times, definitely comment below and let me know what you've been working on. I would love to hear about it. If you have any questions on, you know, just things about this DIY um, project, then definitely comment below as well. I'll be glad to answer those. But yeah, for a Dollar Tree craft, you cannot beat it. This is super cute. Definitely stay tuned for future vlogs so you can see how I decorate this because I'm definitely not gonna break the bank with decorating. But yeah, so that is going to be it for this video. Enough of me rambling. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you never miss an upload. And until next time, you guys, I will see you on the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye.